Hundreds of thousands of women are diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States each year. In 2017, Mandy Messerly was one of those women. Here, she shares her story of survival. In probably like end of February, beginning of March 2017, I was doing a self-breast exam and I found a lump and I just sort of, I don't know, chucked it off to it was something else or, you know, it wasn't really, it was nothing. I knew I had my annual physical coming up and so while I was there, I told my OBGYN and I started asking pointed questions about cancer and history in my family. Wife, mother, and educator Mandy Messerly was diagnosed with breast cancer in March 2017. When I was first diagnosed, that was my first fear, is that I wouldn't, um, the treatment plan wouldn't work. At 36 years old, Mandy feared for her young daughter's future. That um, my daughter would grow up not knowing me, that's a big fear for a lot of people. Sorry, I'm getting a little, <laughs> um, but that's, that's real. You know, I think anytime anyone gets a diagnosis, you know, of any kind of cancer or what, what have you, like the biggest fear is like, I'm not going to be here anymore. The diagnosis also an overwhelming feeling. You know, you feel every emotion. So like one day you're just like, I'm going to die, you know, or this isn't going to work or, um, you know, I have to go to another doctor's appointment or how are we going to afford this? But after coming to terms with the diagnosis, Mandy made the decision to remain positive. It's really easy, I think, to go to the dark side or to be really negative. And for me, I just wanted to be very positive about my experience. I also really wanted to educate people. Messerly created a Facebook page called Positivity with a Side of Cancer. She used it to connect with friends and family, post updates, and spread positivity while going through treatment. This is my, my checklist, chemo, surgery, radiation, reconstruction. That's always how I like went through things. I definitely still question my faith a little bit, just knowing like, why was I, why did I get cancer? Like, I mean, I probably never had the answer to that. Mandy got through the fear. So these are some of the cards that people sent me. With family and faith, and looks forward to the future. You definitely have to be a fighter um, when you're battling cancer. You do, because otherwise it could very easily tear you down. And I just wasn't gonna let that happen. I wasn't gonna let the cancer win. I was gonna win, and I did. In Greenville, Katie Augustine, Nine on Your Side.